What's going on guys? This is Hector here with Vaping Lizards and today we got another e-liquid review for you guys. Today we're going to be reviewing Artifact e-liquids. They're based out of North Carolina and they have a line that's con that consists of five e-liquids but we only tend to carry three out of the five. So we're going to talk about the bottles, we're going to talk about um, the e-liquid, the labeling, how the e-liquid tastes, the flavoring on it, and all that good stuff that you guys need to know. So right now let's get into the close-ups with the bottles and see how they look, the labeling, and all the stuff that the bottle has. So as you can see guys, right here is your st uh, standard glass bottle, you know, with your um, child-proof cap on the top. Right at the front we got the name of the e uh, of the brand, Artifact. Then right here we got the flavoring of the name and then a little flavoring profile right here on the bottom, which is which is a new feature that I, I really haven't seen in any e-liquid bottles. This is the first one that I've seen that has a little profile of the flavoring that it has in there. If we turn it over to its side, I don't know if you guys can see it right there. We have um, ingredients and warnings. Then right there at the top, we got the nicotine level and uh, the um, lot number for the e-liquid right there. And then they have a little date on the bottom right there just so you know how good this bottle is till and for example this one right here is June 2000 uh, June 26 2017 and that's a long time for a 30 mil bottle so I'm pretty sure most of us will be done with the bottle prior to that and then on the other side right here we got um, size of the bottle right there and then in fluid ounces and then right there at the bottom their website which is artifactvapor.com so um, let's get into it guys let me re-wick real quick and let's start vaping these and talking about them and see how they are so I'm fresh to re-wick guys I already dripped up right here Genoa which is one of the, the breakfast uh, um, e-liquids it's a breakfast fruit cereal flakes and almond milk this is definitely my ballpark this is the type of e-liquid that I enjoy and vape on a daily basis. All cereally, creamy flavors, that's what I like. This is going to be one of those flavors that I'm going to enjoy without even trying it yet. But let's do this. Definitely good e-liquid. E a little a little too sweet like um too strong on the on the on the fruity part of it but that's good um it's all subjective you know some people might like having that stronger flavoring in there um i like it a little bit more on the creamy side more than the fruity side of my cereal flavors but again it's all subjective but it's a good liquid i can definitely vape this on a daily basis i i can vape it on a few days in a row if i could um for sure all right, guys. Next up, we got uh, Fontana. It's supposed to be uh, pears with dairy cream and a key lime. I've never been a fan of key lime. I'm just gonna say that right out the bat. Uh, pears, it's it's incredible because I haven't had a a pear e liquid since my first first setup that I had like an ego pen, e, e, uh, e cigarette pen. So it's gonna be it's gonna bring back some memories here. But uh, never been a fan of key lime though. I do enjoy the dairy cream so. Let's see how it is, see if it blends in and it dims out the, the lime. All right guys, um, first thing I can notice is you can smell the lime in the pears for sure. Uh, a little stronger on the key lime, but let's see. At least with the build that I'm running and the RDA, everything it, everything matters to set up. At least with what I'm running, um, am I getting too much slime, which is not a bad thing. Um, it makes it vapable for me because when it has too much lime I, or lemon, I don't enjoy it. So it kind of, I don't know if it's my setup or the dairy mixed with the pears. It's kind of like, you know, uh, mix, uh, evening, evening it out. But uh, I can get a little bit, a hint of the pears not so much of the dairy cream uh, I'm not sure I guess I have to get a couple of more um, 
uh, hits before I can uh, see if I can pick it up or not. It's there. It's very, 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 very minimal, but I can kind of get some sort of creaminess. And I'm gonna say that's the dairy cream right there, but the flavor that overtops the most is the, the key lime. So, but it's not, like I said, it's not overpowering. It's just a little a little hint. Everything else is mixing together equally. So I'm getting uh, equal equal amounts of everything. All right, guys, last but not least, we got skull flour. It's a uh, lemon sorbet with berries and uh, kumquat preserves. Um, if you guys are wondering what kumquat, for the ones that don't know what that is, it's supposed to be like a little orange. Um, I saw as I was told, so it's I never had that before in a, in a vape. Um, I had lemon, but I don't know if lemon sorbet's gonna be different than just regular uh, lemon. I'm assuming it is. Um, and berries, just that's just your standard berry. So I had berry flavored liquids um, before. Um, I'm gonna go with since orange tends to be a little stronger, like orange, like citrusy type vape, vapes, you know. Um, tangerine type deal tends to be a little stronger I'm assuming I'm gonna have very minimal amounts of berries and more of the lemon and the kumquat there so we'll see alright guys um, the smell kinda <clears throat> evens out with everything else so I'm getting like smells of uh, the lemon with the with the orangey flavor so we'll see See, this one personally wouldn't be my type of vape um, because I'm getting more of the lemon and I don't enjoy that too much. Uh, that's not my kind of like type of vape. But let me give it one more hit, see if I can pick up anything else. I'm not sure if I can pick up the kumquat mm, berries. I might be getting a little hint here and there. It's just overall it's stronger on the lemon um, so personally for me it wouldn't be something I enjoy vaping on a daily basis I can vape it for a little bit but not on a daily basis but um, for you for those of you out there that enjoy lemon e lemon flavoring e-liquids then that definitely will be a, uh, a vape for you because it's a little a little stronger on the on the lemon um, than the Fontana with the lime um, that being said guys um, great bottles I like the simplicity on the on the label you know you got those either with sometimes I got too much going on, on the bottle and the labeling and it's just like too much um, I like the simplicity you know straight to the point you got the name you got the, the brand name then you got the uh, flavoring profile on the bottom which is awesome that's definitely a big thumbs up I never seen that um, bottles are just your standard bottles they got childproof cap which is which is good always need those um, flavoring very good on the flavoring um, some of them tend to be a little less than the other but again it's just the flavoring some flavors are going to overtop everything else like if you have a banana a lemon a lime a citrus a tangerine an orange type flavor those are going to tend to overtop a little bit but besides that guys the flavoring is good um, I like the flavoring on all of them um, again the only one that I probably wouldn't vape on a daily basis would be skull flower just because of the fact it's stronger on the lemon than what Fontana is on the lime that's it guys but uh definitely a good uh good e-liquid so we're gonna have our website on the bottom the descriptions and at the end of the video so you guys can go ahead and uh, if you're interested on these bottles you can pick them up so i just want to give a big shout out to artifact for uh, providing us with these bottles and having such a great partnership with vaping lizards really appreciate that from you guys i want to give a big shout out to vaping lizards for having me here and doing uh this review for them and until next time vape safe